Okay, sellers, you're ready to fill out that seller's disclosure. But before you do, let's talk about it. Everybody, it's Rosemary Lewis, your educator agent with EXP Realty, and today I want to share some advice with sellers when filling out the seller's disclosure when you are selling your home. But before we get into it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way, as soon as I post new content, you will be the first to know, and I know you want to know. Also, hop on over, connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at Rosemary the Realtor, and you can find me on Facebook at Rosemary Lewis, L-E-W-I-S, just my name. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, seller's disclosure, y'all, I cannot stress how important it is to really be thoughtful as a seller when you are filling out the seller's disclosure. My number one piece of advice during, uh, while you're filling out the seller's disclosure is when in doubt, disclose. What do I mean by that? Um, let the buyers know everything that you know about the property, anything that's not functioning properly, any repairs you've had to meet, uh, make within a certain amount of time as requested by the disclosure. Don't be, um, don't be shady. That's the best way I can say it. Don't be shady. Go ahead and let the buyers know no home is perfect. And if you withhold any information and it comes out later in an inspection report or something like that, not only could the buyer have grounds to walk away from the contract, but you may be held legally uh, responsible if it's if it looks like you were trying to keep some things from the buyer. So I recently um, had a situation with someone that I was working with and I am clearly looking at the property, right? Because it was listed before I went to go check it out. Um, so I can see the pictures of what the property looked like before this person purchased it. And I see that they have made a, a lot of changes to the home. Now the home was beautiful, but when I asked about the changes, it was like, Oh, no, it wasn't a big deal. Oh, I just did this or I just did that. And the person thought that since they personally made the changes to the home, that wasn't, that didn't require a disclosure. Even if you get work done that isn't permitted by the city or anything like that, go ahead and disclose because God forbid um, that something happens, um, work isn't done properly, and you didn't disclose that you even made those changes, I'm telling you, that buyer can come back at you legally, and it is just not worth all of those hassles. Go ahead and write everything that you know on the disclosures. I mean, be very upfront about the property because at the end of the day, we want to have integrity in the transaction. We want to make sure that as a real, you know, your real estate agent should want to protect your interests. And the best way to do that is to be honest. So when in doubt, like, hmm, should I tell them about X, Y, and Z? Yes go ahead and tell the buyer on the written document. That way you are protecting yourself as the seller. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area and ever want to talk real estate, go ahead and um, hit me up. All of my information is in the description box below and we'll talk soon. Disclose so you don't go to jail. I don't know if you're gonna go to jail. What is